they don't have it, they come here. These CPUs are assembled in China, so they apparently, I guess they have spare. And they buy it from these warehouses, which are on the upper floors of the building. I just have a cart, and there's like probably a dozen tall and about the same deep. There's an uplifter. Yep, they are, that, uh, they are, they're, they're being full, they're quite well utilized. They, one of them sent me this price sheet. Ooh. We're multiple administrations deep in a technological cold war over processing power between the United States and China. China's Cyberspace Administration has labeled some U.S. graphics processing products as a security risk, seeking answers about U.S. government backdoors in silicon. Meanwhile, the United States has imposed heavy restrictions on exports of graphics processing units, or GPUs, being sold to Chinese companies by American companies. The sale requires rarely granted licenses for each import scenario to legally export GPUs above a certain performance level, with the stated objective being to restrict progress of private and government projects, including AI development in China, while trying to maintain the US's AI leadership. The United States takes this so seriously that just this week, the Department of Justice had two Chinese nationals arrested in California for what it alleges is the smuggling of tens of millions of dollars worth of GPUs. Because where there's prohibition, they're smuggling. We spoke to everyone about this NVIDIA AI GPU black market in China and the US. We found middlemen who connect buyers and sellers. This is it. Cool. Wow. Users who can understand the demand and explain it using the most dystopian definition of wealth. How many GPUs they have? They have much more GPUs than us. <laughs> than the university. Yeah, we're GPU richer. Oh, four. Right. 